welcome to the TIGBRUSH TBE250 and TBX300 training video. A standard TBE250 or TBX300 kit consists of the following. A TIGBRUSH control unit, a red handle cable, a black clamp cable, a power cord, a wand assembly, two brushes, an insulating shroud, one litre of weld cleaning fluid, one litre of neutralising fluid, and a document pack which includes a quick start guide. Firstly, connect the power cable to the machine. Then insert the plug into the mains power socket. Now insert the black clamp cable into the black clamp socket and turn the fitting clockwise to lock. Next, insert the red handle cable into the red brush socket and turn the fitting clockwise to lock. Now place the brush into the shroud and screw clockwise into the wand, making sure it's tightened firmly. It's extremely important to ensure that the insulating shroud is fitted over the brush at all times when using the TIG brush. Failure to do so may cause the machine to overload if the copper on the brush comes into contact with your workpiece. Damage to the TIG brush with evidence of no shroud used will not be covered under warranty. Finally, screw the wand assembly clockwise into the handle until tightened firmly. We will now show you the different power and mode settings. The power settings are standby, half power and full power. The mode settings are clean, restore polish and mark. And did you know that the TIG brush will passivate on both the clean and restore polish settings? Turn on your TIG brush. When the power dial is positioned on the standby setting, the machine is on but there is no power to the brush until switched to half power or the full power setting. Illumination of the green LED indicates that the machine has power to the brush for selection to either clean, restore polish or mark. The clean mode is used to remove the discoloration of the heat affected zone and passivate while not affecting the machined finish of the stainless steel. Pour a small amount of the weld cleaning fluid into a small, clean container. Connect the earth clamp to your workpiece. Dip the brush into the fluid, making sure you have wet the brush completely, wiping off any excess fluid that may drip. Place the brush tip lightly onto the heat affected area and using small circular motions, work your way over the heat affected area to be cleaned and passivated. Then rinse thoroughly with clean water and neutralize if necessary. Here's a helpful hint for better results and longer brush life. Don't press hard. For greater efficiency and speed, only use the tip of the brush. In this video, the brush is lightly touching the workpiece. And in this video, the user is pushing too hard, causing damage and reducing the life of the brush. The Restore Polish mode is used to polish and passivate stainless steel up to a mirror finish when using TB25. To polish stainless steel welds, ensure the mode dial is switched to the Restore Polish setting. Dip the brush into the fluid, making sure that you wet the brush completely, wiping off any excess fluid. Place the brush tip onto the required area and using small circular motions, work your way over the area to be polished. Then rinse thoroughly with clean water and neutralize if necessary. The marking setting is used for indelibly marking logos, part numbers or any other information onto stainless steel. In order to mark, you must have the TIG brush marking kit and multi-use stencil or stencil printer. Screw the marking head adapter into the marking head electrode 
and cut a 50 mm or 2 inch length of the heatproof felt off the roll. The felt has a hard rough surface and a smooth soft surface and it's important that you place the hard rough surface against the marking head electrode securing with the o-ring. Screw the marking head adapter clockwise into the handle and tighten firmly. Place your heat resistant marking stencil on the area to be marked. Secure with masking tape to stop the stencil from moving during the marking process. Connect the earth clamp to your workpiece. Pour a small amount of TB90 marking fluid into a clean container. Make sure your mode dial is turned to the mark setting. Dip the marking head assembly into the marking fluid ensuring that the felt is wet and run the marking head over the stencil with slight pressure for between 8 and 10 seconds, making sure you've run over every part of the printable area. Finally, remove your stencil and rinse the marked area with clean water. The Restore Polish setting can also be used for etching logos, part numbers and any other information onto stainless steel. Set the TIG brush to full power and Restore Polish. Dip the marking head assembly into the etching fluid ensuring that the felt is wet and applying slight pressure, run the marking head over the entire printable surface of the stencil for no longer than 20 seconds. Finally, remove your stencil and rinse the etched area with clean water. Please note, as the etched metal is contained in the felt, the felt can only be used for one etching application. Thank you for learning to use the world's leading electro-cleaning and passivating machine, the Ensitec TIG brush. For further information, training or sales inquiries, please contact us at www tigbrush.com